Welcome back to Air to Motorsport. So today we have an R35 GTR in for our Air to Motorsports intake. So today we're going to be showing you how to remove and install our Air to Motorsports intake to this Nissan GTR. So let's get on with it. Firstly, all we need to do is pop the front plastic clips on the tray to get that removed. So after you've removed the upper train all and push clips, like I showed you, you'll remove the air guide. And then now what we're gonna do is loosen the filter assembly so that we can remove it. But there is clips behind the MAF sensor that you need to push off. You need to disconnect the MAF sensor. And then you also need to undo these two terminal bolts, which I'm about to show you how to do. As you just saw, we've now removed everything. Um, what we need to do now is where I just undone the 10 mil on the front, we're going to put this bolt and washer through it. And then on the back, you're gonna have this bracket, which is gonna hold on the intake, but we're not going to actually bolt up the bracket just yet. For now, all we're gonna do is put the bolt and washer through and then leave it so we can measure everything up, make sure everything fits in our silicones as we want it. And then we'll add the bracket and install it to the rest of the intake system. What we need to do is remove our math sensor from our stock intake but what you want to do is make sure if, you, if you're removing the left math sensor put it back in on the left and put it in the right removing the right math sensor put it back in on the right do not swap them around if you're going to have problems so now that we've installed our math sensor into our new intake pipe what we're going to do is put this silicon reducer down onto the turbo and then the pipe work will go straight onto it i'm just going to slide this on and then slide the pipe work into it and not do up any jubilee clips so here is another jubilee clip that will go on this end um, just so we can make sure the fitment is correct, twist if we need to twist anything, and then that way we won't have any problems. So I'm going to slide that on now and show you how it's done. Now you're going to need to install your filter. So for this, what we recommend is there'll be uh, on the front bumper at the top, there's a row of clips, about five of them. Just unclip them just so you can get a bit more movement. Then what you need to do is push the filter in straight down and then put it in line. The mesh inside may change shape, but all you need to do is you can get your hand straight through the back of it, get it inside of the mesh and just push it back into shape. The reason for this is it is a very tight fit. So we've already got our filters on now. What we're going to do now is install the rest of the intake piping so the filter will be connected and then the turbo end will be connected. Earlier I showed you where the bolt actually goes through on the front of the intake system. Now what we're going to have on the back is where that bolt will go through, we'll go straight through here. We're going to go and nut and washer it on the back, but where the two holes are, you'll see the two holes that are actually on the top of the intake pipe work. So we will actually bolt through there as the bolts will get provided with the kit. And then it'll all be secured and this is just going to make sure there's no play in it and it will stay exactly where it should do. And then 
you go, that is how you install your Air Set Motorsports Intake Kit to your Nissan GTR. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll also do a intercooler kit for this. I'll leave it all linked down below. Check out our website for anything else, if any other car you may have, and make sure to leave us a like on our Facebook and follow us on the Instagram. Now, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more content, and we'll see you in the next one. And as always, keep it air tech.